All right, I'm here with Curtis Johnson, and Curtis is actually one of my closest friends I've known. For one the, of the come on, man, top, top, you're killing me. He's in my top eight. That's how <laughs> that's how far back we go. Is he's in my top eight? <laughs> I mean, the top eight. One of your right. friends? No, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. <laughs> no, so he's uh, literally one of the one of the most fun people I know, and I, uh, one of the great fortunes I think we have at EXP is getting to work together. Um, one team, one dream, and that's been uh, really a blessing. Absolutely. But I really want to. I want to unpack. Uh, I want you to unpack kind of what the process you went through. So you, you know, you had a big team. You've been, you've done like four thousand bazillion transactions in your lifetime right and you know you were you know we've we've all built our companies really big <laughs> torn down built yeah. it back up again yeah, yeah so what you know what did you know what was it inspired you to make the move you know to exp sure and how did you come to that conclusion and how did you structure you've got 20 something agents right sure yeah well, kind of long story right over the years tried a lot of different things been with kw as a part owner remax had my own brokers for 12 years um, being independent and then kind of looking at this and something that really attracted me was that we've been talking about this for for over a decade trying to figure out how do you get all this, a lot of top agents and, and everybody on the same side of the table um, as opposed to, you know, okay, that's fine. We can go to a mastermind, share ideas. But when you really have like a, going to business together, how do you do that? And this was the first platform that I found that, well, you know what? Wow, we can really do this. And we really are in business together because we're, you know, there's a financial component to it and there's an incentive for you to help share the things that you've learned with myself, with other agents and, and agents that I sponsor and so right, forth. So right. that was really one of the biggest things to look at um, and to go, okay, well, how do you take a, a big team and then is it, is it worth making that move over? And I looked at it for over a year and you know, when I first looked at it, there was different things that were attractive, but I also thought, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if it's too early or not, right? right, and, right. And, and now I think it's got the, the structure, the stability and it's got a lot of the, the credibility, if you will, right. that is gonna help scale going forward. Right, right. So, you know, when you, when you look at, when you talk about partnership, I just wanna unpack that for a minute. So, okay. you know, um, it's, it's one of the few times I've ever ha had the opportunity to every single person I work with every single day, I'm not asking for a credit card at the end of the conversation. <laughs> right, right, and, right. And for me, that's a really big deal because it's really fulfilling and I talk to you every day now. So, I mean, yes. um, so yeah. you'd be having to get your credit card out an awful lot probably, right? <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, I mean, what, you know, you know, the, the leverage that it brings, I mean, yeah. what do you see it as far as how we're going to be able to really help more agents, not just be more successful in real estate, because obviously you have a tremendous amount of value you add. Mm -hmm. We can add a ton of value as well. Mm -hmm. What's, you know, what do you think is the future for, you know, the people that are getting in and what is the experience going to be like for them? Um, I look at it as a, as a blank slate, if you will, that there's this platform, this EXP platform, and there's great agents in it. But then it's, it's so, it's relatively new that we get to make whatever we want. And one of the things when I was looking at this, like, okay, I just looked at just the company itself. Mm. And I had some friends that went in it, but I was like, man, okay, that's attractive. But the thing that really was the tipping point for me was to go, wow, okay, w what's making some of these other people take this step? And then to go, you know what? I can actually be in business with them. I don't have to move to Lawton, Oklahoma. I don't right. have to move to Dallas. I don't right. have to <clears throat> go across the country or whatever. I can say, we can actually partner here, um, really across the country, wherever that is, and to actually be able to do that, right? right? And, to, and to be able to partner, uh, that was the thing that really just kind of tipped it over for me. Right, right. Uh, Putting our fires together and making one big fire. Right, absolutely. And, and that was one of the things actually, when I looked at it, was like, okay, that's important. I had no idea how important it was, the people that were in your upline, oh, yeah. if you will, right? right I'm not right. much into, into that whole idea. You know, I kind of think, oh, I'm not into MLM or whatever. It's like, I've been running MLM for almost 19 years, right? And running a team is, you, you got a lead buyer specialist, right. lead listing specialist, a manager, a, <laughs> right. uh, a operations manager. Right. Like, how many levels is that? Right. right. Okay. Well, you get a little split on this, and you get a split. It's like that's what the whole thing is, right? right. But this is a way that's better structured to be able to say, it does does matter who's who's sponsoring you because, you know, there. I was at KW, and the person that sponsored me, like, love the company, but the person that sponsored me, like there was no value really there right. and, and i had no idea who the people up from that were right because it was just it was like well you got to hope they didn't put new tile in this week right, right. They, they, there was a profit <laughs> right, um, right, right, right. which there really wasn't right but in this like all the people that are up above i know those people i've talked to them and they've shared stuff they're they've been on the phone helping me with conversations with other people and that's where the real power comes in and, that's the duplication and, yeah it, it, it goes hey you know what they're excited about your growth right. not just looking out for themselves and right. that's that's pretty cool it's total alignment Total like alignment, right. right, right, so, and even even on the even on the team side, right. And we talked about that from an agent standpoint. Right. <clears throat> is it's hard to kind of go, 
oh no, hey, go sell some houses and, and we'll make a split and we'll be on the same we'll be on the same side of the table. It doesn't matter how much you give, they never get that necessarily. Right. But this you're actually saying, hey, for people on your team, you can we're gonna give you this business too, and we're gonna help build it for you. And they're right. like, well, wait a second, like why would you do that? Well, because I want you to I want you to succeed, but also it helps me as well. Right. And they get it. Right. Right. So so you can be in partners deeper with your own team and it, it just kind of makes sense where everybody's really the alignment. It's factor. a win-win. Yeah. So with your agency you brought over, what you know, what was the structure like? I mean, you'd probably tested a, you know numerous different splits and things of that nature. Yeah. And that you know, having that conversation, moving over to EXP, obviously, mm -hmm. I mean, were they all excited? Did you know? Did you know? How did how did that process go? And how did you you know make that transition? And how did that work? So I think that's a, a question that everyone's in the in the phase of kind of I'm in consideration, deciding maybe if I'm going to do this or not. How should I do it? What does that look like? So this, if you would kind of describe how you just that it's just being totally transparent, right? One of the things that was was told to me and you know hopefully it doesn't turn someone off but was told to me was I got a team of 20 to almost 25 people right is look at this and say okay is this a big enough opportunity that if everybody walked out and you went and did it that you would be okay with that that you would go do it and and for a while I was like no I don't want to I don't want to mess with that it's not worth it to me right, <laughs> right, right. I, I don't want to start over like that <clears throat> but I really kind of got to the point was I believed in it so much I was like okay I gotta have a couple come with me, right? But it, when I looked at it, I was like, okay, I don't know, they're gonna be really turned off by this and they're gonna tur be turned off by that. And I'm like, okay, I gotta get at least four or five of them to go with me or, or whatever. And I can start over, I can do it. Right. And we, you know, I went and I presented it to everybody and went through and really, you know, really lost three agents. One had already quit two weeks before, but I said, well, hey, hold on, I'm about, gonna make a big announcement. And yeah, she, wouldn't, she didn't really wanna work, right? right. Um, another one that I said, sorry, it's probably just not a fit, and I didn't necessarily want him to come with us, right. and one that I did want. Right. Um, so out of that, but okay, so, so I would, I'd say I had a net negative one, right, with that? Right. Or negative one. Um, but then here's the deal. I've been here for three weeks, two and a half weeks. Not all my teammates even have all their licenses yeah. moved over. Like we've right. got like one or two more. There's four of my agents that already have somebody that they've already sponsored that's in the system already right, in, right. inside that. So right. I'm up. It's already, already it's already yeah, expanding. And, and, and we've already got like five or six others that they've already gone. And this is just in a couple of weeks. So right. so that's kind of like I didn't see that coming. Right. I didn't. I, I was like, okay, I'm going to get you down just to ten that people. They were going to get anybody out right out of the game. Absolutely. So so, so they're already starting to see it. Right. right. So that's a huge opportunity. That's Absolutely. great. So basically, out of 25 agents, you probably brought on what you're saying. You're saying they had 24, 23. Is that how many actually were, I guess, 22? If the three that didn't come on board? Uh, I just, like, I think like 26, right. 27. So, so I got moved up. Right. Man, that's that's pretty awesome. That's good to know. So I think, you know, yeah. that puts a little bit, you know, people at ease. <clears throat> what I found is everybody is excited. Just as excited as yeah. we get it when we see opportunity. Sure. No different. They, they see the value, they see the opportunity just as well. And, and they're happy to, you know, pay the, you know, the portion of cap that they have to to have that opportunity. Yeah, I mean, and, and like I said, I, I thought it was going to be a, a deterrent. Like, okay, how do you do this? And, it's, and it didn't really come out like that. Awesome. Well, yeah. as, as you, I'm proud to be in business with you, my man. You so I appreciate you very much. And you thanks too. for sharing that because this is probably going to be super valuable for someone else who's coming <laughs> along trying to think, how am I going to structure my team? Hey, we're all figuring it out together, right? right? That's the whole point is we're all in this together. Awesome. Thanks a lot. And as we always say at NAEA, we'll see you at the top or from the from top. From the top. There you go. <laughs>